Denmark proposes ban on selling cigarettes to people born after 2010. Folks, we've got to remember. We've got to remember. If people are doing things that don't affect you, we really shouldn't be caring about it. That's always going to be the position at this church. Yes, yes. My longtime two viewers always know that's the position of this church. We really shouldn't care about it if it doesn't affect us. Okay. Um, people can do what they want if there are no adverse consequences to you. Very simple. Very simple. Obviously. Obviously. We are for minimum age laws at this church. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. There is a time of development in one's life where, yeah, they shouldn't necessarily be uh, grabbing at every vice that this world can offer. But um, you can't ban cigarettes. Like, that's the point of this. Like, I, you can't do it. I, I don't... Um, like, right now they have a ban. It says in the article right now that Denmark has a ban... Um, for under 18 people and and 31 percent of people aged fit between 15 and 29 still smoke you see that it's like look um there's like fit, people under 18 it's banned for people under 18 and they're still smoking people are always going to do what they want okay that is just the way life works so um solutions always have to work with that unfortunately i think you know um the perspective of the government on tobacco is, of course, like, hey, and I think it says it in this article, the, the number one cause of death in Denmark is from tobacco use. So I get it. There's costs associated with it um, to the state, right, um, in many ways. And so they, they, they react to that by saying, like, hey, like, what's up, dude? This is not helping, helping matters from a government perspective. Um, but and 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 but the but I appreciate that. But the only way we can appreciate that is by saying like, okay, aggressively educate. That's all you can do, man. All you can do is a and and listen. If you want to go balls to the wall aggressive, every single cigarette pack has to have a skull and crossbones on it. Nothing else. There's no advertising. Like that's fine. It just should still be available. It should still be available. Um, this article also talked about how this is this kind of thing is coming to a lot of countries uh, in the Western world. A lot of the Western world countries are like, nah, we're not about this. New Zealand, a um, few others, I think, are kind of being aggressive about it. I don't see this happening in America anytime soon, um, but I just hate this. I hate this. Listen, go and spend all the dollars on educating. Fine. I do not care. I just think that they should still, at the end of the day, be available to use um not great to your health we all know that well not that we all know that because then um again i want to reemphasize that like just just educate as much as possible you can spend all the dollars you want on that i could care less um just don't ban it i just don't think we should ban stuff like this um obviously every every um issue has its own individual approach you should take to it right of course um the way that I think on cigarettes here isn't the way that we I think on everything. But um, specifically to this, I hate this. <laughs> so uh, aggressively educate, um, and that's all you can do. That's all you can do. So we're going to move on. There wasn't too much there, but just a, a strong disagreement from this church on, on banning things for the most part. And don't like that. Don't like that.